Yo, what's up my fellow Dragodons? Claw here, and today we are back with another mod case video for Shovel Knight Pocket Dungeon. Today we're going to be checking out a character mod. Uh, this is TMK50, which is an enemy if you saw it in our randomized stage video. Someone was able to bring it into the game as a playable character, and this mod was created by... Acid cumulus, accumulus, acid cumulus. My bad. <laughs> if I butcher name, sorry. My bad. Um, like I said, this is kind of like if you took Tinker Knight and mixed it with Spectre Knight's healing thing, where like you touch a potion, you lose the health. That's what it feels like to me. But it's overall a pretty fun character, I would say. That was fun as the nice ice mod. Which is probably one of the best character mods we've seen so far in Pocket Dungeon, in my opinion. There we go, like you saw, saw right there, I press the R button, and it's able to heal. It only heals as long as you've got the medals. As you saw right there, when it went into like low health, it was a little bit more protective. I think I was actually pretty close to completing a run as this, but I wanted to save it for a video. And as I always say, I will leave a link down in the description below if you want to try the mod out for yourself as well. Do, do, do. <laughs> Easy to cheese. I mean, I was a kid when I said, in my opinion, I find him to be very broken. Let's get through here, because we're not going to bother to get any of the items. We have three keys, might as well save them for Spectre Knight. Let's see, Hardy Wandy or Chrono Plus. One of the two I really want, especially the Hardy Wandy, the, the wand, I think is a pretty nice item since it shoots out a laser at full health. In a way, it kind of reminds me of um, when playing Breath of the Wild, where Link could do this. I think generally when it comes to Zelda with um, the sword, if you had. Like your full health, be able to do some kind of special attacks. That's what low key kind of reminds me of. Even though I've never really played much of Zelda, <laughs> I've only played like a few. It's just not a series that interests me that much. But that will be. Why would that be a question of the day, though? What is your guys' favorite Zelda game? For me, my favorite is Darksiders 2. A game that's inspired by Zelda, as well as a few other franchises, like as like the Parkour, Prince of Persia. Highly underrated franchise. A franchise that just never gets as much love. <laughs> Pretty much everything at this point. 
with the remasters, and even Darksiders 3, which got ported to Switch, which I have, I haven't tried it out yet. Part of me, like, should I be worried since it is a Switch port? <laughs> it's, is it gonna be bad? Because even Darksiders 3, to an extent, like, had some issues at launch with the frame rate. But I would say on PC, or if you have like a next-gen console like the PS5 or the Series X, the primary issue was definitely sorted out. Damn, I should went for the I should went for the glass because that is a more useful and practical item. But at the same time, oh. You know, let's go for this one. Because we don't have bomb seed, so I feel like that item would be useless for us right now. Uh, I might as well go with the potion napkin because that's going to be helpful to some degree. It's always an item I go with in case when playing as Spectre Knight. Considering at that point Spectre Knight doesn't lose so much health when you're near potions. That definitely helps level out the playing field. Really, did I run out of keys that quick? Sheesh. <laughs> Nothing really useful, so I'm not gonna waste my time with getting. Yeah, let's just go out the door, which is barricaded. So I'm gonna get some more metal. There we go. Oh, it's Plague Knight. Okay. I'll probably keep a few of the blocks around just in just to be safe. There we go. <laughs> you know his design kind of reminds me a bit of um, Omega from Sonic. Do I think he was called something else from Sonic Adventure 1? Because they're different units? Oh, shit. I gotta remember! Yeah, <laughs> do that, otherwise that happens. Oh. Me was also trying to grab the freaking potion when you're not supposed to do that.
I sometimes have to remind myself, it's like, don't do it! There we go. Ooh, let's also go for... If I can get enough chains, I'll probably go for at least one more item before I start to save up some items for the eventual 20,000 20, requirement. Because that in itself is just a grind. <laughs> I wanted to do like a no relic run, which I don't know how people do that, but you yeah, know, more power to you. Yeah, let's go for that one. That way we get some more attack power when we hit a block. Iron Whale, alright. Ooh, Bomb Seed, I might go for that because... I honestly feel like that's going to help us out in the long run. Man, I love the RNG in this game. Okay, first, consume. And then, voila! Um, let's see. Might as well grab one more key <laughs> on our way out. Okay, so we're gonna be battling Tinker Knight. Can I say as well, I like that they finally added... Um... The Mole Knight and Plague Knight sections into the game. Instead of them just being boss levels. Not boss levels, I mean more so in the sense like where it's you're not just facing them in like places where you exclusively fight um, Plague Knight. Or Mole Knight and whatnot. Ooh, bomb seed again. Okay, I feel like that was a big waste.
Oh, I should probably get down there. Alright, Tinker Knight. I believe Tinker Knight is supposed to be a two-phase, if I remember correctly. It's been a hot minute since I last fought him. Oh, I almost died. <laughs> Dead. Yep, two, second phase. I at least want to be able to get my hands on some more metal just to be safe. Oh, alrighty. Good stuff. Da 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 da. Oh crap, we don't have the socks. We'll see how this goes, because we've been doing pretty well. Because normally parts I struggle at, I'm doing fine with this guy. Um, can I get some blocks? Please. Oh wow, they don't really give you that many blocks for this. I think we found the one instance where this mod is just like not OP. Uh -huh. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Oh, never mind. Uh -huh. There we go. I even almost forgot I even had the fetter. Oh, that was a lightsaber. Ten out of ten moment. There we go.
Hmm. Let's see. Uh, I have seven keys. I'm amazed to be able to go for this so far. Alright, now we gotta focus on getting that many treasure. Oh crap, it's gonna be that. No! <laughs> uh, of all the... The game just wants me to suffer, because this will always be my least favorite place to be, because of enemies like that. Oh, I just noticed we got. Alright. Ooh, big bomb. Let's go for that. <laughs> Let's give it- oh, wait. I should probably at least get, um... Let's see, can I, can I get those blocks? That would be nice. I should just win in the hole. <laughs> We're getting the sword. <laughs> We're getting the big one. Like, why would you not go for the big sword? <laughs>
I probably should have went for the other one, but at the same time, it's like, why? There we go. Hell of night. There we go. Hmm, let's see. Oh, I wonder if we'll actually will get like the secret boss fight for this. That'd be cool. I remember, get a bunch of the blocks before going in. Let's go. This is like my favorite piece of music from this game. It just reminds me so much of like Magma Dragoon from Mega Man X4.
Oh shit, you can actually use the metal even though you're not- you're fully healed. Oh, I didn't even know that. I was just tapping it randomly. That's just a good waste of resources right there. Okay, Puzzle Knight defeated. I wonder if you get something at the end. Like I normally get when you complete a secret run for the final boss, you get the gold armor. I wonder if there'd be something like that for the mods. Which I doubt, but it still would be pretty cool if there were something like that. Ah, uh, we don't have enough. Oh no, we're getting out of there. I- I know- well... Okay, that can actually be somewhat helpful. Lava is preventing me from going down there and get the bomb. Come on, disappear already. Oh, there's the block. And voila, let's get let's go. Oh no, it's the enchantress. Who could have saw that coming? I don't know anyway. So far I'd say Enchantress is probably been my new favorite character to use so far. I got plenty of these, so you are no concern. Okay, maybe a little bit. Such a deadly combo as I see like with the whetstone, the saw, 
and the beam. Jeez. <laughs> That's such a deadly thing right there. I should try to utilize more for a combo. Skip through all that. And that's a new personal time! Wow. Let's pause it right there, because... Well, it seems like you don't get a gold, but that was the mod. Uh, let me know in the comment section below, what do you think of it? Is it something you're gonna try? I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.